Hello guys, Nico Nomad here. Today we're gonna talk about how you can find the cheapest flights possible. So over the years I took literally hundreds of flights. So I've learned a thing or two and I want to share the websites that I use to book my flights. The first one is Google Flights. Let's get into the actual website and take a look. All right, guys, so we, this is the home page of Google Flights. If we go down here, you can select your currency. I would just leave US dollars. So now we're gonna change our departing city. And I will put New York City and select all airports for the more options and it will be cheaper flight. The same thing for your destination, I will put London. You can actually select a specific airport if you wish. If you check here the calendar, you can see that all the different fares during the different dates. This is for a four day trip. I want to increase this for, let's say 12 and the prices will update. And here we have $315 is the cheapest one for November and December. So I'll just select one that I want and my return flight and click done. Now you can see all the different airlines that cover this route and usually the best ones are at the top. So a direct flight, $315, that sounds good to me. I will click and now the return flight, that sounds good to me. So I select and here you can actually see that you have a free carry-on, but if you want to check the bag, you need to pay $120 more. So for the booking options, you could just click here on select, but if you do that, you are giving money to Google. And I don't like to do that for two reasons. First, Google is an evil company. And second, sometimes booking directly with the airline will give you a better price. So I always buy my tickets directly with the airline. I just copy the dates and paste it there. Now, a really neat feature of Google Flights is that if we leave destination blank and click enter, it will show up this destination map, which is really cool. This is my favorite thing about Google Flights. So here you can see all the flights for a round trip during those dates. But I am actually want the cheapest flight possible, so I'll select flexible dates. So it's a one week trip during the next six months. And here you can select the price that you're willing to pay. I will put under $100 so that you can see better. So if you move in the map, it will update with the prices and destinations. So you can see all these different cities, they are all under $100 but we can decrease to let's say $50 and we have still so many options. This is for a round trip uh, and you're gonna stay for one week in each destination. So if we zoom, it will update and this is the price for a round trip. But if you want a one way, then it's even cheaper. Look at this, $13 everywhere. Copenhagen, Prague, Vienna, Budapest, Gdansk. There's so many different cities here with really, really good fares. And this works everywhere. So let's do the same example, but instead we're gonna select LA. So let's type in LA. So under 50, you have some options, but not too many. But if we change to $100, you can already travel basically the whole country. And if you increase a little bit more, Mexico is already appearing. If you want a round trip, just update there. You can select under $500. So we have here round trip to South America. Let's put $800. Now we can go to French Polynesia. That's nice. And that is how I like to book my flights. Now there is another type of website and that is uh, deal aggregators. So the most popular one in the world today is flyforfree.com. You can find all the different sales happening in your country, in your region. That said, not all countries are represented here. So for example, if you live in Brazil, 
you should use melhores destinos so there are options in your local language if you don't find on the big aggregators so not only you can find the cheap flights but you can also find uh, accommodations with the flight so it's like a package tour for example five star hotels 11 days or something like that with the flight and you can find pretty good deals here okay so we've seen Google flights and we've seen deal aggregators but the actual cheapest way that you can find error fares what is an error fare as the name suggests it is an error <laughs> essentially so uh, what that happens is the airline posts a sale but the price is much lower than it's supposed to be and what happens is you can find flights for ten dollars hundred dollars intercontinental flights return because they are not supposed to be that cheap but if you still buy them you can actually get away with it most of the time not always sometimes the airline can cancel those type of tickets but most of the time that I see the company actually honors the deal and you can fly for really cheap so how to find these error fares now here you can also use the same website that I just talked about fly for free or your local version I'm pretty sure they're gonna cover that because that's what everybody is waiting for but keep in mind that you should already have a plan in case of an error fare so that you can already book really quickly because as soon as the airline knows that the price is wrong they will take down the offer of course so you gotta be really quick and one way to make the, your purchase faster write down which dates you can actually travel so as soon as you find an error fare you can already buy the ticket for those specific days so if you are prepared first before the airline even notices you already bought your ticket and more often than not they will honor that ticket so that is how I do it it's pretty simple not too long video but I hope it has been helpful if you like this content make sure to subscribe let me know in the comments which was your cheapest flight that you have ever bought and how did you find it thank you for watching and I will see you next time